What's up guys, this is Tommy Plays again, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up the original Elgato uh, with the chat link cable, because uh, the, ch uh, the original Elgato doesn't have that uh, little uh, import that um, uh, like the Elgato tutorial tells you uh, like to put that one cable in. <laughs> But uh, I want to show you how to do it because it is a bit different. Now keep in mind you may have to buy uh, something. It is very cheap and that is this cable here. Now uh, you can get this off of the uh, Total Beach website. It's uh, fairly cheap. But if you own like Total Beach is like X12s or something. You probably already have a cord that looks like this. So don't buy one if you don't need one but yeah let's get on into this so first of all you're just going to plug in the two hdmi cables like you normally would here and then once you have those plugged in what you need to do is take this and this should have came with uh, the elgato and what you need to do is plug this in uh into this slot here so I get that plugged in hopefully hold on other way there it goes okay so once you get that plugged in uh, we'll just leave that for now and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the uh, chat link cable that you got here and what you're going to want to do is, hold on, okay, you're going to want to take this end right here and plug it into the PS4 controller here. And if you have an Xbox One controller, uh, you're going to need that adapter thing. Uh, I th Pretty positive you can just get it on the uh, like Microsoft website or Xbox website. So once you do that, you're going to want to take this end of the chat link cable here, and you're going to want to plug it in to this end of this cable here that you bought. So you're going to take that and plug it into here. Right. Now then, once you have that, you're going to need to take these two ends here and plug them into this little uh, cube thing here. Uh, so put the red one in the red slot and the white one in the white slot. And then you have that done. Okay. So now that you have all that done, this is my headset here. And uh, my headset doesn't use a USB or anything. So uh, I have to use uh, this. Don't worry. Uh, you don't need to buy this if your headset didn't come with it. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to plug your headset in here. So I'm going to take this. Plug that. In there and I'll take the two uh, ports for my headset here and I'm gonna plug these in into here all right so now that I got these uh, plugged in that's uh that's all you have to do that's it and then you know obviously you just plug in the Elgato into your PC and uh uh, console as you normally would, and that's pretty much it. I'll go uh, over to my PC now and show you what you do, what to do on the uh, Elgato software. All right, guys. So once you finish uh, setting it up and and plugging in everything, plugging in the Elgato to your console and PC and stuff, you're gonna want to open up the your software here, and then. You're going to want to go here to this settings bar. 
and all you want to do is go here click click this and make sure this is on analog audio this is very important that you do this because if you put on HDMI audio the audio would not be sent to the Elgato because if you didn't know for some reason um, uh, Sony thought it would be a good idea to make it so that um, basically the PS4 can only send uh, audio to one device at a time so if you don't have the chat link cable the audio will be sent to your headset but not to the Elgato and what the chat link cable basically does is it separates uh, it, it separates the audio so it's going from the controller then the cord separates it so one end goes to the Elgato and the other end goes to your headset so make sure you click analog audio this is very important and then you just want to click OK here and that's it that's really all there is to it it's really not that uh difficult of a task as you can see I got uncharted here if I uh if I uh, click here as you can see the audio thing is going up that means that the uh, there's audio being put through to the game and uh, yeah that, that's pretty much it uh, hold on one more thing you probably want to do is if the game seems very quiet go here to audio and just increase this I found that when I did this the audio of the game was very quiet so all you have to do is go here and increase this here because you can see this is all the way up and it, it was still very quiet so yeah just do that and you should be good and that's pretty much it I hope you found this helpful um, I will put a link in the description to the original video that I found this off of. He really helped me. This That was really the only video I found on how to do this. So if you want to go watch his tutorial, maybe mine wasn't uh, that specific enough, then you can go watch this. Uh, either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.